What's up, YouTube? We are back again with another very, very helpful video for you guys that are trying to learn how to figure out the ins and outs of vidIQ. So today I kind of want to talk about why you should be using vidIQ as your choice to have as a keyword research tool, especially if you guys are up and coming content creators. So if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and also ring the bell if you guys are you know, interested in growing your brand or growing your business. And um, I would really appreciate the subscription. So go ahead and subscribe, join the family today. This is the channel where I pretty much teach you guys how to maximize your growth and also your revenue online. So if you're into that stuff, join the crew, okay? Join the family today. Smash a like if you find this video helpful at all, but let's go ahead and get into today's video. So the main topics or the main points that I want to make, there's only four for today but um i just want to show you guys some of the in and outs of uh vid iq and hopefully you guys will mess with it and if you want to check it out for yourself i am a vid iq affiliate so down below in the description you can find my affiliate link but let's get into this little tutorial real quick so the first thing that i want to go ahead and say it's kind of a no-brainer when it comes to vid iq but if you go in and get a package or a vid iq package of course, one thing that you can honestly just guarantee is that you are going to be able to increase your views. VidIQ is very special. Just the dashboard alone will let you know what videos you need to double up on, which videos worked well, which videos didn't, which videos got you the most subscribers, which videos got you the highest uh, retention rating, everything, okay? Literally, this is an in-depth play by play on what you should and shouldn't be doing all right so when it comes to increasing your views it's fairly simple just because now we can actually see what is trending on youtube so we would kind of get an idea of the type of content that we need to be making for the viewers so when it comes to vidIQ of course we have the uh, keywords bar right here so for our keyword or our keyword phrase for today we chose YouTube keyword research now when we when we type that in of course it gave us our overall score which is a 67 which is not bad we see that we have a high search volume and then we also have a low competition so in last month we see that this keyword has received 58,000 different searches in last month. So this would be a keyword that we would try to rank for. And if we needed any inspiration, we can go all the way down here to the, the top trending videos for this keyword. So these are just going to give us some ideas. We can see that all of these videos have been posted pretty recently. Even a short has popped up on here, but um yeah 21 days ago 12 25 days ago six days ago so i feel that this is definitely really really nice if you want to take advantage of the what's kind of trending at the moment but this gives you just so much it's just a lot of very helpful information for content creators out there now the next thing that i can honestly say is that vidIQ will definitely help you figure out what the viewer is searching. I feel that that is the most important thing for content creators. So you're not out there trying to, or not really trying to, but you're not out there burning yourself out, making content that nobody really cares about or nobody wants. So of course you can use, you know, the related keywords to see what people are looking for. You know, we can go with the search volume. There's filters up here and, you know, take advantage of everything. So if we're looking for, high viewage and low competition you know four hundred thousand in the last month is pretty significant you know and that's youtube seo i mean it's pretty similar to what we just typed in which is youtube keyword research so yes youtube search optimization search engine optimization is definitely something that we can discuss so that is something that people care about why wouldn't we make a video on it we see Roberto Blake, shout out to Roberto Blake. Um, let's see what we got here. Keyword research. So if there's other means of doing keyword research, this is a pop and tag for you know anybody to make a video about uh, almost 200,000 views and a low competition. But even if you wanted to take a step 
further, you can go to the questions tab. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys the questions tab in a video before this one, but I'll have everything in my vidIQ playlist. So all my tips, tricks, and hacks, and whatever you want to call them, are going to be all in one playlist for you guys if you just want to binge watch that playlist to learn how to really navigate through vidIQ. But the questions tab is going to be your best friend, especially if you're starting all the way over or if you're just first getting started as a content creator on YouTube. So the questions tab is pretty much giving you the questions that are more so searched throughout the month. So our top one, let's see, let's go to, let's go search volume. So the highest search question right now that we can find right here is how to do keyword research for YouTube. This would definitely be a video. So either you already know how to do key research for your YouTube videos or your YouTube channel, then you can go ahead and, you know, make a video about your experiences and how you do your own keyword research for YouTube or you could, you know, learn and figure out the best practices to teach someone else the best keyword research for their YouTube channel. So we got the low tag right here. And then we have a very low right here. Still 8,000 searches in a month isn't too bad. We'll still get some views out of this. And this is how to do keyword research for YouTube video. So you have for YouTube in general, and then a more specific tag would be YouTube videos. So, I mean, those are two videos right there. So that kind of eliminates the guessing game when it comes to becoming a content creator on YouTube. So vidIQ is very special for that. Right here, you can already answer questions that people are looking for the answer to right now. So you're definitely going to get some views off of this. Now, I feel that vidIQ also allows you to be not only smart, but very strategic because it gives you an advantage over your competition. It's, it's very true, though. Like when you look at everything, you see what you can possibly go for in competition and how many searches so like out of that 58,000 searches in a month like if I was to grab like maybe a couple hundred I wouldn't be upset about that you know what I mean so you can even use these filters to navigate even more so we can go with the highest tag we can possibly get which would be a 69 right here this looks more so of a tutorial so this would be kind of like an idea that we can go through and do so just how to research keywords for youtube that's cool we can look at what else do we have here let's see of course we have this how to do keyword research right here then we have our very low tags everything's looking pretty tutorial based so we would definitely look and just play with different keywords so we could go youtube keyword research tutorial and then that doesn't look too pleasing with the search volume but we can go to related keywords and then we'll go by overall and then we just found a massive tag right here which is a 75 overall very low a hundred like over a hundred thousand searches in the month and that is google keyword planner we will be testing out google keyword planner seeing what we can do with google keyword planner and that could be our next video just to see that you know there's so many different searches so the opportunity is greater for us and then also with the low competition this just gives you the the upper hand on your competition for sure now another thing that i feel that vidIQ is really great with giving you as a content creator is of course the ability to easily rank for some of these keywords right here just because we know everything that we need to know so we know the search volume and then if we make a great video that is actually engaging and people are loving it it's definitely going to rank okay it's definitely going to rank we have videos that ranked for us and that's how we became a little bit bigger we've actually started growing on the channel so i thank you guys if especially if you're watching this right now thank you so much but um yeah we've we've really been working hard and we've been using keyword research tools like vidIQ 
to help us get even further in our YouTube journey. But these are only just a few reasons why you should be using vidIQ. There's so many more, but we have a whole playlist explaining everything else about vidIQ. If you're interested in using vidIQ, then please make sure to check out the link down below. It is my affiliate uh, link for vidIQ, so check it out. And um, yeah, we have a whole playlist that I'm going to be leaving on the screen for you all. And if you want to learn how to maximize your revenue or maximize your views, watch time, whatever your heart desires using vidIQ, then please make sure to watch that playlist and you will learn a lot. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. But thank you all for watching. Smash a like on this video. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and also ring the bell so you guys will be notified for all of our future videos on this channel. But thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one.